be realistic for a second. There is no proof there is a God and no proof there isn't. Anyway, science does work. Religion does not. All existence is evidence of God. It may not be conclusive evidence, but it is evidence. Religion does work, maybe not Christianity, but don't shoehorn all religion in with that bunch. All existence is evidence of God. One phrase and I already know the rest of your comment is pure bullshit. Not quite. If God is all existence then all existence is evidence of God. If you view the universe, or all that exists as a single entity of pure energy that I choose to call God, it is all powerful, all knowing, everywhere at once, controls all our actions and outcomes and we become one with it when we die. That is observational evidence based on known scientific principles. Unless you define energy, you have not explained anything, and no one knows what you are saying. Some might like it, but none understand. Not even yourself. If it was scientific, you would have peer-reviewed articles in precise words to describe this god other than just energy. But which scientific principles do you mean? The theory of relativity for one. It describes the universe as one thing, energy at different speeds and in different forms. That energy is neither created nor destroyed, it only transfers to different shapes. Energy itself is eternal and is our God. All other things are simply formed within that energy, creations within God's image. The universe contains all knowledge, all power, controls our faith through cause and effect and exists everywhere at once. The other principles I am citing here are the first law of thermodynamics and the law of cause and effect. Okay so your God controls all our actions. This means you have no control over what you do in your life. This means, if you kill somebody, your God did it in your name. So if he sends you to hell is because he wants you to pay for his actions. Call me a fucking devilish, retarded, troublesome atheist. But if your next comment will lack of rationality as the one I'm replying does, I'm gonna insult you so bad you're going to think that I'm Satan's child. Hell? I never said I was a Christian. That's a Christian concept. Yes God is responsible for all in my book, because God is all. Every action or thought you have had or will ever have is shaped by the tide of time that lead to that moment, the law of cause and effect. The universe is an equation, everything in it is a number in that equation. This effect must happen because of that cause. Free will is an illusion brought on by humans thinking they're separate from the universe, we're not. We're a function of it. If you completely ignore the last 100 years of physics, then yes, you're right. Quantum theory posits the possibility of true randomness, and therefore free will. If you're a strict Newtonian, then yeah, predestiny is essentially undeniable. Nearly all of our modern day physicists are not. I'm not ignoring quantum mechanics. The probabilities you're talking about are in relation to subatomic particles and their position within space slash time. The most recent discoveries involving the Higgs field suggest it is a medium in which all matter rests. If a particle is small enough, it may have the ability to bypass interaction with this medium and transport itself literally anywhere, that doesn't mean energy waves of some frequency we can't measure don't make it jump or determine where it jumps to. I'm with Einstein on this one, God does not play dice with the universe. Even if he did. The role of those dice could be predicted if we knew every property of the actions involved in rolling them. Like air resistance. Force provided by the toss. Friction and angle. Etc. Just because we don't know all the factors, doesn't mean it's just random. Okay, that did make sense. But this, in no way, is evidence of God. So, what is your point? My point is there is evidence that an entity exists that matches our most common definitions and traits of God, the universe as a whole. What religion do you belong to anyway? I don't belong to any organized religion. Unless of course you count science. That is the study of my God.